everyone, welcome to Tales of Swordfall. I am Paul. I am the guy running this. In other words, I'm the GM, or DM, or whatever you want to call me. Um, and I'm with who tonight? Um, I'm Luke Skytrekker, and I'm playing Horatio Amblethumper, who is currently trying not to die. Hi, my name is Guy. My name is Guy. My name is... <laughs> Check exactly that guy who went gets... into my head when he said that. Too. <laughs> I was going to resist. But... Uh, and I'm playing Norik Baltzpar. <laughs> um, hi, uh, it's Gatch Righteous, um, and I am playing Lane Lavaris. Hi, and I'm Bear and the Butterfly, Christy, and I'm playing Rayanne, who is apparently on the verge of dying. Yay, Virgin Dying Club, oh. up top. Virtual high five. Yep. Yay. High five to everyone who's dying. Except we can't because we're trying not to die, so we yeah. can't move our hands. Yeah. Oh, we God. We only have half of the player characters um, making uh, death save rolls right now. Hey, so. this yeah. is pretty only good. Half? This is pretty good for level one for your first guys' it's... first battle encounter. So good job! Yeah, we're all technically alive, so we're passing, right? Yeah, yeah. So Just far. like early, yeah, we're passing so, so far. If our listeners don't remember last time, our rambling probably doesn't make sense. So our group found a group a group of bandits, decided to fight them, and their boss came out and basically wrecked two our, of our. Uh, group members instantly and um they've been battling and now they're well some of us are battling for our lives so yep we're gonna keep the turn order uh that happened last time um so the well turn order initiative order whichever you want to call it uh so currently it's horatio first the nork austere ray and lane then Mr. Beast Rider and his Albear. So, with that being said, Horatio, let's see where you are on the life and death scale now with a life saving roll. All right, and do what? Do I roll my hit dice or like what do I click? <laughs> okay, so on your character sheet in the middle, uh, near the top, if I All remember right. correctly, there are there hit a dice. Um, it's oh. actually it's just to the right of hit dice. There should yeah, be a it's death just, save. Yeah, I don't have anything checked, so have we not started yet? No, so you, you just I I think the death save you button? were just starting to do your death save because we ended. Let me double check here in the past chat. Do, 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 do. Double checking. Oh yeah, because the last thing you did was. Uh, a vicious mockery, and the the, the dude hit ya. Yeah, like, he didn't. My right. last words were were making fun of the dude. No. Yeah, it's a very Horatio way to go. Yep. So yeah, this is your first death saving roll. All right, time to save my death. I mean, I'm not die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you passed that one. All right, success. No. Yep. You. It's a good groan. Yep, you're not fully bleeding out. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Nork, this guy is in front of you. Uh, oh, he's boy. the Beast Rider. He was trying to hit you the last time, missed several times. He seems very angry at you, for no apparent reason. And mm -hmm. you notice that he has a nice <clears throat> shining amulet with a uh, emerald in it. Ratio wants that. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. It's worth three hundred gold. I'm it's a, shiny I'm magical. It's fine. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, um, your choice is at this point. Uh, take the disengage action and try to get away from this guy. I uh, hit the guy, and uh, hope that you hit and cause damage. And there's a few other things, like, you could try to pin this guy down. I, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I imagine he's, he's probably a lot stronger than I am. <laughs> maybe. Just Out of pure curiosity, what would be the result of pinning someone down? All right, so when uh, you are grappling someone, you do opposing strength rolls. So it's your strength roll plus your modifier against his strength roll and his modifier. If you successfully grapple, then you can make the person go prone. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah. That, that, that makes sense. So. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Just, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm I'm I've seen how fast he can go. He's fast. <laughs> Faster than I am at least. Yeah. And um I don't I don't feel like there's any uh, any way I could successfully run. Um I mean it's possible but uh dang that would be tough. So uh, I'm I'm going to I'm going to stand and fight. All right. Be brave Nark. I believe in so, you. Fight for your fallen con artist companions. Let's see. I'm going to click on spear, right? Because I'm attacking yeah. the spear. Ooh, maybe. Ooh. And I'm a dumb dumb and didn't have his character sheet up just yet. So let's be suspenseful and uh, go. Da -dum, da -dum. You make mm -hmm. contact, but his reflexes somehow just make it slide off him as oh. you barely miss. Ouch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, but, you know. It's an awkward, tried. scary moment yep. Yep. where you punch a guy and he doesn't flinch and you're like, oh, crud. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I guess that's about all I can do, huh? Yep. Next is austere, right. and he's gonna look at the guy and do stuff because I I am totally ready with everybody's character sheet up. I swear. <laughs> as long as he doesn't ditch us or something. Well, those bodyguards were expendable. <laughs> yeah, that would totally suck. Less and, gold we gotta pay. <laughs> and then you can just call me like that dirty, filthy uh, GM after that. It's like, what? Why? Why did you do that? Put it on a little plaque in your office or something. <laughs> um, He's gonna run this if it actually comes up. Da -dum. <laughs> I just want to do the Jaws thing now whenever we're waiting for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this guy may actually move away from Nork if the strength save. So what Nork sees is a sudden like line of lightning that um just touches this massive man in front of you and he this owlbear rider stiffens up and then just falls to the ground smoking a little yes <laughs> suck it and he dead well he's as dead as we want him to be so Nice. That enough to count. <laughs> See, yeah, if Horatio, if, if Horatio was conscious, he'd be like, "Why didn't you open with that?" Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we are technically at a combat. Everybody who. What is... about the owl bear? Oh. Yes. Yep. Yep. There's still an owl bear. There, there is still an owl bear. That is correct. Right uh, next to my motionless corpse. Yeah, let's uh, go through the motions then, uh, Ryan. All oh, right, do I have to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, ha you have to do the death, death saving throw. You got this, Christy. Oh, oh my gosh, where is it? I've lost it again. <laughs> it, it's in the middle column. Um, by two hit boxes, dice. 
Yeah, it's two blocks boxes below your current hit points. There's a little word that says death save. So you just click that. Uh, yep. Okay. You succeed again. Yay! Yay! Yes. Oh, sweet heavens. All right. Blaine. Mm hmm. Save my bacon. <laughs> Lane, do awesome things. So I would <laughs> like to, uh, I'd like to see if, how this owlbear is behaving now that its rider is smoldering. All right. Uh, what would you like me to roll for that? Just a perception? Uh, a perception or, hmm. And or a nature, possibly? Yeah. Since you've kind of heard about stories of these before. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Roll me in nature to see if it's like within that um, realm of what you've heard. Twenty three. Oh. Um. So it kind of looks like an untrained, well, like a semi-trained horse who just lost their rider. Like in the literal, they just kind of disappeared. Since uh, the air owl bear looks a little lost, and uh doesn't seem to have any more commands that uh, it's following. It uh, even looks maybe even slightly confused if owl heads can look confused. Okay. Um, I'd like to just come up to it um, and try and like calm it and then if it has any reins or saddle or anything like that, start oh. removing it. Oh, you should keep them on. Right. Ride it. Keep the owl there. <laughs> and you can go that full distance? Yeah, I can run 70 feet a turn. All right, cool. Man, and, you're fast. And uh, at the end of that, give me a uh, animal handling check. Okay. And I'll stand between the owl bear and the, the fallen... Oh gosh, I hope this I, is a good one, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you just jinxed me. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Um, it's very apprehensive of you touching it. Mm -hmm. It's very confused on what's going on. And, um, you know, it's its turn now. And it's just going to start going away from you. Okay. And you guys watch it wander off in a day state as if it's just like as if it woke up from a nap or uh, it's not tranquilized anymore. It doesn't really have any sense of what's going on. Interesting. So All right. now the combat's over. But we all loose ends have been tied up. No, not all of them. That's true. We still have two characters that may or may not die. So, <laughs> uh, right. this is the time. If anybody has a medical kit, if anybody has um, any healing spells, or... I have a minor potion on me, but I can't use it because I'm trying not to die. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. Um, and the question is, have you explicitly told anyone? Yeah, if I'm totally on like the verge of death, you can totally pour, pour this in my mouth. No, but they saw some some people might have seen me buy it if they remember. But that was way back in the city when we were buying potions. Oh yeah. You know, what if someone loots our body for stuff? I'd be fine with that if it saves my bacon. I'd be absolutely fine with it. Uh, Austin, don't comes touch up. my thing. <laughs> don't Aust touch my stuff. Austin comes uh, up to Horatio and looks down. Looks at Lane. Hmm. I suppose we should do something. I do need <laughs> all of you. Can I roll insight? Did he say he needs he needs all of us? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he needs all of us for can the I, for the mission. That's right. Can I uh, can I roll insight to see why if that's like a, I need all of you to sacrifice later or like? That's uh, what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of feeling that. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, totally. Roll, roll insight to. Oh dang. Oh. I mean, oh. I mean yeah, he seems he, like he genuine. He he d does seem like he would. He like does need you all for a specific reason. I mean, if it's sacrifice or not, it's hard to tell. Maybe he'll get in trouble if he doesn't have the four people he was supposed I, to have with him yeah, on you, this journey. Lane could start asking follow-up questions. I am all for that. She will she'll do that, eerie. but I'm not right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's, got... let's just have a pleasant conversation while I sit here trying not to die. That's fine. <laughs> um, I mean, it's only your Lane... life we're talking about. Lane remembers, or I mean, I'm assuming Lane would remember the whole back and forth between you and me and getting the potions. Oh, um, yeah, I, so, you were you were there. I would, I mean, unless your memory is completely shit. I mean, it's not. It was like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, or whatever. But uh, yeah, she's gonna dig into your your bag and grab out uh, two health potions. One that you bought. And then the one that she bought. Austere and looks over my... at you and just kind of shrugs and goes off to Rianne. <laughs> Digging into my crud ton pile of junk and, that Rianne uh, was carrying, including the tent. And over there at Rianne as well. Um, now, one thing, one thing I, I, that I totally forgot to pick up for Norik was a... Uh, I didn't notice I didn't have a medical kit <laughs> when I, we were in town. So I forgot to grab one of those. I thought you did grab one of those. No, I didn't. So, but this is the point where I'm going to wave my hand <laughs> and go, GM bullshit, and go, it, uh, I see you probably bought you one as he was piling a lot of <laughs> junk on you. Retcon! Yep. Gotta love the retcons. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um... Hey, that's right, he so, bought you like a ton of crud for free. But anyway, I, I, I do have a, a, a medicine skill I was going to attempt to use here. Yep, and uh, when you roll it and you're using the medical kit, uh, you get to add your proficiency on top of the number that you roll. My proficiency. Yep, so plus two. Mm -hmm. Plus two, okay. Because you are proficient with a medical kit, aren't you? Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yes. So 15. 15. Yeah, that is uh, pretty substantial. That's a really good roll. That is enough to stabilize Rayanne. Oh, thank heavens. You just saved a life, Norik. Did your good deed for the day. Okay, um, so health I potions will <laughs> um, also help out a lot. Um, these are, what, 1d4 health potions, correct? They're minor health potions, so I would imagine. Yeah. Let me look, look minor health potion real quick. Uh, but I'm... It's... I think it's 2d4 plus 2 or td D4 plus con, if I remember right. Let me check. Yeah, 2D4 plus 2. Okay. Yep, so we're giving two of those to Horatio, right? Uh, yeah. I was grabbing those out, yep. having him drink one. Uh, she was going to have the other one to give whoever else might need it, but going to give okay, one to Okay, Horatio, Horatio you're being force-fed a 2D4 <laughs> plus 2 health potion, so roll... 2d4 plus 2. All right. Ah, that's enough to stabilize you. Yay! <laughs> Horatio lives. You're not picking the button. Huzzah. So, what I usually like to do with um, having people come back from death, I'm going to have you guys both roll me a... 1d4. Okay. okay. Ominous. One second. I got a three. Yep. Ooh. I got a four. So this is how many hours you will be unconscious for. 
Oh, oh. I thought I thought high rolls were better. He tricked us. <laughs> He's like, yes, a four. No. Naturally, that Rian would conk out on y'all for the longest time. Yeah. Um. Austere, like, shakes Rian gently. And looks at Norik. You can assure me she's not dead. Nope. Nope. She's not dead. She's not dead. Good. Well, I guess you need to grab the pack mule. We'll carry them with us as we travel. Yay for Herbert! <laughs> Uh, d do we, Herbert's uh... Sorrel hero here. Oh, see, I guess I'll, I'll, uh, I'll drag Herbert up by us here. Bam. Here's yep. Herbert. Um, as for the, uh, the, the dude we just took down, um, the, the big baddie here, uh, I, I kind of want to, I want kind of want to take a, a look at what he's... Got on him. Yeah, Austere's, Austere's also looking at it like he drew something into the ground and is just uh, like observing. Okay. Take now, you the said, amulet! You said earlier <laughs> that Norik noticed the amulet. Yeah, and it looked nice and shiny yeah. and very tempting to just magical, pick up. Come on, put aside your no, conscience, no. Norik. He's dead anyway. Nork's going to reach down and, uh, and, uh, touch it. Touch it. Okay, as soon as Pick you it touch up. it, uh, yeah. it's still in your hands, but you feel something cold slither around your neck, and you realize it's the chain. Oh, oh geez. Oh, snap. Sorry. <laughs> it's a curse. Uh, Austere kind of looks at you. Slightly amused. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, he's evil. I swear. Norik's gonna like jump back and be like, "Oh geez, oh." I was what about to tell you, it's a cursed item. <laughs> oh no. Uh. How... Well. You. Like, what? What do you do about it? <laughs> well. Either we find a cleric and remove the curse from you, or you live with it. How bad is it? <laughs> uh, you hear a female voice in your head. It's probably oh, bad. No. Why did you do that? <laughs> Nork, you just got possessed, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very familiar voice too. Oh no! Oh jeez! It's a it's a familiar female voice. Uh huh. Hmm. Perhaps from a dream. Oh hmm. no! All right, Nork's pretty freaked out. Nork's having a bad day. <laughs> and now. I and Norik just saw Herbert move over right next to him, and Nor Norik's looking at Herbert all bug-eyed. <laughs> Herbert's kind of looking at you, and back at the amulet, in kind of a sad-looking way. He is a mule. I mean, they don't generally look happy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Norik's gonna shake his head and rough his hair and try and just get his senses about him and be like we'll deal with this later let's let's, let's get and he's totally distracted by the voice <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's trying to just brush it off for now and well, take care of what needs to be done I would hate to delay our trip longer but there are some people to the west that could help you, but it comes with a price. Hmm. Lane, get over here. 
<laughs> you can leave my body there. That's fine. <laughs> so, I'm not going to say it that rudely. I'm, I'm going to yes. do more of a lane. You come over here. Um, I will. I'll, like uh, I'll attempt to kind of carry uh, your limp stabilized body over there. Uh, my inventory my inventory does weigh 92 pounds. It's um, going to take me a while. You're kind of like you don't like uh, fully do the fireman like thing. You're kind of more or less dragging him by his legs. What if uh, what if I remove his pack and leave the pack on the ground? Um, That would probably be a lot easier. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, snap. Don't leave my stuff. I got I Norik's tent is in there. It's not even my tent. It's his tent. I just never gave it back. I just I just imagine your like unconscious mind just like shouting all this. Like <laughs> No! That's my stuff! No, I, I my feel stuff. it leaving me. I need my stuff. I've been I've been stealing stuff since day one. I have so much crud. I just stole a bunch of crossbows from the guys being killed that I was gonna sell. Yeah. So I I carry your limp body over here and leave all the stuff behind. Ah, oh. ah, oh, that hurts. <laughs> Austin oh, looks at uh, Lane, just kind of with this like smug look on his face, just because of the predicament. Well, should you tell her? Or should I? Ah. Uh. All right, Lane. This dude had a had a cursed amulet, and uh, well, it's stuck on me now. Um, I don't know how bad it's gonna be. Can and I roll Arcana or something to see if I can kind of notice anything about this curse, or I, at least yeah, anything. Yeah, uh, roll Arcana and see what you know about curses. Oh yeah, you know about curses. Speaking of curses, a bit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about curses. Yeah, um, uh, you know that curses usually um need the remove curse spell. Um, and it's that spell's usually associated with like clerics and paladins. Uh, some magic users even have them. But if uh, Austere's not doing it right now, he's probably not capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. Austere isn't so perfect after all. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, need to, uh, we need to find you someone holy to get the curse removed. Well, I was then... just saying to Nork, there's it's a little out of our way, and may delay us about a day. But there's three women out in the woods who can help us. Uh, Nark's gonna look at Lane and say the other two are unconscious. I don't know if this will affect our journey or not. Affect our, our uh, mission. Um... If if we want, I don't want to delay us. But if speaking the lane, if either either you or Austere feel like this is bad enough that it'll cause problems for us, then should we go west? And you hear us. a female voice in your head again. This. Halfling has no idea about curses. <sighs> Austere, are you familiar with the curse that's on this item at all? I have never seen an item like this. But I am mm. familiar with curses. <laughs> and uh, being from the school, or what is this academy called again? <clears throat> I, I remember. It's basically it's Magic the Academy. School. It's, it's it's the only one around, right? It, yeah. Well, it's the Swordfall Magic Academy, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, from your from the Swordfall Magic Academy, 
in your professional opinion, is this something we should take care of before we continue forward? Well, if we could identify what it does, then we would know how much trouble we are in. Unfortunately, I'm not schooled in such spells. Let's see. Now, at this point, nobody else knows about this voice, right? No. No one seems to be reacting to it whatsoever. And I imagine it's pretty obvious that it's, you know, that it's, it suddenly popped up in, in my head when I touched the amulet. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, we're still looking around every time he hears the voice, just kind of. And Herbert's acting a little bit more um, compliant than usual for a mule. Why don't we take shelter in one of these abandoned buildings? Get some rest. Wait for a fr friends to wake up. Hmm. And perhaps they can give their two cents. All right. All right. Yeah, sounds good. We'll we'll have a night's sleep on it. Horatio doesn't appear to have an opinion. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Just me. Aww. I'll do my best to keep watch. Well, we'll all keep watch, but if travelers are avoiding this area because of the bandits, I doubt we'll get much company. You did just destroy their leader. Mm. Looks over at the smoldering pile yeah Person with a, a very shocked face narc's gonna look at uh narc's gonna look over to um austere and, and say or, and ask well, is there anything else on this guy I should know about before I look for any other <laughs> items? Well, if he has one cursed item, more than likely he'll have another magic item. Cursed or not, it's hard to say. Oh, maybe well, not. if we'll be here in the morning, maybe Horatio can look for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, with this area and with a Albert now on the loose. I doubt there will be bodies in the morning. Oh. Hmm. Good point. 